I'm giving away $100 to the best setup this month, and I want you to help me pick the winner. Much better. The monthly winner then moves on to the annual grand finale for some kick-ass prizes. So all you gotta do is comment below on which setup should win the setup of the month. Really all you need to do is just one, two, three, or four. Let's do this. First up is Colin and his killer setup. At first glance, his four monitor is hitting you right in the face. They're mounted to the wall, so he's hiding those cables you know, on the cable raceway, so good job doing that. He built his custom desk himself and he put his water-cooled PC in there. Nice job. Looks like he's sucking in cool air from the front slot and exhausting out the back. He's running a dual loop system, so one loop is cooling the CPU and the other the GPU. He also has a display screen in there with the temps. He's also hiding the cables with some cable raceways again in the PC and his desk. Nice. He's a huge fan of Doctor Who and he says he has some trinkets in there from the show in his desk there. His keyboard is the Corsair K63 with a lap board and the mouse is the Corsair Dark Core Pro SE. To end this setup, let's take a moment of silence for that poor, poor hamburger footrest getting smashed all day with some stank fate. Nice setup, Colin. Next setup is a nice, clean, single monitor setup from Old Joseph. It has a nice, cozy feel to it. I like the X back and tabletop sitting on some dark Alex drawers. I also like the nice floating shelves above to fill in the wall above. You know, it looks like he's a fan of Batman rocking a poster and some Funko Pops. Over on the left, he's got a little keyboard area with a neon bulb, which I like. Looks like he even coiled his own keyboard cable. The keyboard hanging is the Drevo Caliber V2 with Gateron Brown switches. His main key is the TM680 with Echo Green and XDA Profile keycaps, paired with a Motospeed K24 numpad. Mouse is the Razer Viper Mercury. He's sitting on a mesh song mix office chair and even has a little footrest on the floor. Headphones are the HyperX Cloud Mix and the mic is the Avik mic. Now here's a pic of his cable management and it looks like he mounted a shelf behind the Alex drawer to hold his power strip. Nice. I like his PC. It's nice and simple, air-cooled system in the deep cool MacCube 110. Nice work, Alt Joseph. Up next is a nice setup from MJ or Working Shine from the Philippines. Now it goes to show you that you don't need a very big space to make it functional. You know, I like the whole vibe of this room. Nice and cozy feel to it with a lot of personal touches. The desk is a custom made desk and then he wrapped it in a mahogany vinyl wallpaper. He's stacking a 24 inch monitor on top of his 34 inch ultra wide. Looks like he has a Firewatch desk pad too. His keyboard is a customized Red Dragon K588, which he painted black. And then he lubed and filmed some purple Gatteron switches and threw some Virtual War keycaps on there with a gray and black coiled cable. And the mouse over there is the HXSJT66. His chair is a white Hibata Ergo chair and it kind of looks like an autonomous brand Ergo chair. I love his Edison bulb light on the left there and his black leather headphone stand. I don't know what his PC did, but it looks like it's in timeout over there in the back left corner behind the plant. Probably didn't push the required frames he expects to it and got punished. I like the lighting above his wall decor and the lightning light on the pegboard, along with some of the fake plants and other decor to further personalize the space. Looks like he even has some clouds up on the ceiling. Nice work, MJ. Last but not least, we have Sistun, who is 17 years old from Toronto, and he has some serious gear for being 17 years old. This is a four monitor, sit stand desk, dual PC streaming setup. Now, it looks like every monitor is different. Uh, on the left, he's monitoring probably his chat. Uh, the main center one is a 360 hertz, so he's gaming on that one. Uh, the right one is displaying something, you know, maybe like OBS or whatever. And uh, the top one is, I guess, just off? The sit-stand desk is a Vivo with an Ikea Salgen countertop on it. I like the option of being able to stand where you can sit and crush a noobs all day. When he does sit, he's enjoying one of my favorite chairs, the Secret Lab Omega in black. His keyboard choice is the SteelSeries Apex Pro and has a couple of G Pro Superlight mice. Headphones are the Biodynamic DT990 Pro, which is an excellent choice. And I bet his voice is sounding real nice with an amazing Shure SM7B mic. It's all plugged into a full-size Go XLR and even has a Mini. He also has a Stream Deck XL, but it looks pretty sad with most of those buttons not even used. Kind of like mine when I first got it, I had to try and find tons of other buttons to fill them all up. Looks like he's using a Sony camera for the stream along with some GVM lights, bouncing some light off of that nice white wall. I like he's using some white cable raceways for cable management on the bottom there, but the OCD in me kind of wants to push those together for a nice seamless look so there's no gaps in it. 
Other than that, his cable management is great on his sit-stand desk. You know, everything's mounted underneath, allowing it to raise up and down and hiding the cables down the monitor mounts. Let's see if we can zoom in on his camera and find anything he's not wanting us to see. Maybe like, I don't know, someone tied up in the corner or something? Enhance. 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 <laughs> Let me know if you peed yourself just a little. Here's the specs of his gaming PC that's all in the Corsair 5000X, which is a great case. His streaming PC is on the left in the Corsair 4000D Airflow. Nice setup system and good luck streaming. If you want a chance to win $100 and a kick-ass setup, well, instructions below on how to submit. Good luck, everyone.